What's up? This is Squad 2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video. Today we'll be clearing land here on the mowing map in preparation for the Building the Mansion project. We'll be hopping the Ford F350 work truck and we'll be making our way over to the job site where we have the dozer, calculator, JCB skizzier, and backhoe. So we'll be using a lot of different types of equipment today. We do have a dump trailer and a dump truck already at the job site. And I would like to thank you all for the continued support on this new series. I'm very excited to be doing it. It's a very cool project, which is also one of the largest projects we are doing here on the channel with the construction company. So we're all making our way over. I thought that just going over with the work truck is a lot easier. So I decided to drive it home from the shop last night. Since in the previous one, we actually relocated the dirt road. And we'll be removing that one today also. So a lot of different tasks removing trees and everything like that we will have to do today so take a look at all the equipment I did come by earlier making sure all the lights everything was working we'll be pulling up right over here and I think the first thing we will probably do is just look at what we really need to do we'll pull up right over here alongside that looks really good so we do have to remove a few of these trees this tree this tree and I think we'll probably keep as much trees as we possibly can so this one uh, this one over here and this one we'll be removing we'll be cutting them down and we'll be putting all of the wood into the uh, dumper over there all right let's hop inside of the mini dumper we'll be loading all of the wind into this, transporting it over to the dump truck right over there so we'll be driving over here next up once we cut a few of these down I'm thinking we'll be doing multiple tasks and then I'll be finishing up the rest of it off camera so we'll come to a complete stop looks like it actually we did really good. We'll kind of cut this down. We do have to remove some of that dirt with a bulldozer over there at the dirt road. Looks like there's a lot of dirt there, so we'll remove some of that also. We'll let this fall down. Wow, very large tree. We'll kind of walk across here, kind of cut everything down very fast. And like I was saying, I've been getting a lot of requests for some tree clearing. So today we'll be removing a few trees today, and then we'll be doing a lot of off-camera work also. Unless you guys would like me to do a part two so let me know should we do a part two take a look at this guys mini dumper very efficient way to bring all of the wood over to the dump truck and then we could throw it in right from here to that so that's pretty cool using this I do like using new equipment just like this one and if you guys do have any cool ideas for the construction company let me know down below in the comments we'll be doing some public work videos very soon and some lawn care live streams We'll just kind of cut all this up. I think it's a little bit easier to kind of cut them up into pieces. Then we'll be done with the chainsaw. And I think I'll probably load these onto the truck off camera. We have one more cut. Then that should be good. I did cut them pretty small. So we should be able to also lift them up with our hands. Alright, so take a look at that. We'll lift it up. It is a pretty large piece, but hopefully we can fit all the wood into this. So let's see if we could fit them all. Now, uh, I mean, it is a pretty small dumper, but it should be able to fit a tree inside all cut up. Wow, take a look at that. It looks like it's just going to work. And I think it would also be pretty cool to get a few straps for it. That way it's a little bit easier for us. That looks to be good there. And like I was saying, guys, we'll be doing a lot more tree clearing off camera also since we do have a lot of different uh, clearing we have to do today. So it looks like we got everything loaded up, which is good. We'll hop back in this. We'll drive over and look at that. Nothing is moving around and it's working really good and a pretty good idea that I had using this for this. We'll probably come right about here. Now if we did have a dump trailer, we could actually just kind of drove up right next to it and dumped it right in which would be pretty cool we'll hop in the JCB skids here we'll be using the backhoe pretty soon but next up we'll be using the bulldozer now there is a new few skid sears out there which I am looking into I'm very excited for all the cool mods and we are doing a mod release later today so you guys can check that out so we'll lower this down take a look at that guys we are stump grinding we are going to remove uh, grass all dirt away doing a lot of different things today which is pretty cool so we just did that I think we'll keep this tree over here I think uh, yeah we can probably keep that maybe until we have to reseed so only one tree we are removing today which is fine that's good there next up we'll hop in the cat dozer 
We'll lower this all the way down. You guys can see that there is some dirt over here. We'll try to kind of uh, scrape up and load in the uh, least amount of dirt over here. Would be very helpful. We'll lower this down. Take a look at that. The uh, dozer is doing an amazing job pushing all of it into a pile. Looks like there's not much here, but there is enough to use the dozer for. We're back all the way up here. And like I was saying, if we do have time, we'll be doing some more tree clearing. If not, we'll probably do it in one of the other parts where we do need all of them removed. This is a very nice dozer. I really do like using this uh, D6N dozer. It looks pretty cool. So we'll actually use the JCB backhoe to load all of this onto the uh, tr dump trailer. Now, we usually bring a John Deere front loader with us, but since we have a backhoe, I thought it would be cool to use a backhoe. So we'll kind of look at that. We are pushing a lot of dirt. Wow. Take a look at that. We kind of scraped up a lot, which is good. <laughs> That's actually really good. So like I was saying, in the previous video, which was yesterday, we actually relocated this entire road, which was pretty cool. So we'll back this up, and we do actually, I think we might need to, need to get gas for the backhoe. So we'll hop in the backhoe, and we'll come over and get a few gallons of gas. Now I just changed the steering so it only the front really works. I just like only having the front. So look at that guys. We're refilling the backhoe up. It's always good to do it. And the service truck does come with a pretty nice, uh, I would say 50 to 100 gallon diesel and gas tank. So we'll kind of scoop up some of this. Now this isn't the largest bucket, but it still will do a pretty helpful work. We'll kind of back up here. Looks like uh, the controls are different for the backhoe since you do have to use both mouse controls. And it looks like, guys, we are actually unable to reach into this uh, thing. So that is a first. I totally uh, did not look at that when I did bring all the equipment over. So we'll kind of have to park this right over here. We did use a bulldozer, but if we do have time, I might go get the front loader. Up next, we'll be hopping in the cat grader. Very awesome grader. And we'll be coming over here and we'll be removing all the grass. Now once we remove the grass, we'll be doing a multiplayer excavation where we possibly could have two to three uh, people running excavators be very efficient with that. So next up, we'll kind of come over here. Looks like we have to tilt this down, lower it all the way. Take a look at that, guys. We are removing it. I'm thinking we'll probably go... Uh, we don't want to remove too, too much since we do want to keep all of the grass. This probably looks good right about there, so we'll raise it up. And actually, let's see, we'll raise it up and we'll just kind of back up two, three or four passes. Like I was saying earlier, guys, I really appreciate all of the support on the daily content. I'm very excited to be doing two videos a day, and it's going to be very cool. A lot more mod releases. We'll be releasing the lawnmower later today, the bobcat mower, and also next week we will be re uh, releasing two enclosed trailers. So that's going to be pretty cool, you guys. We'll be getting a lot of cool mods from me, and I am working on even more uh, that aren't already in the game. We are missing a few spots here and there, but I'm thinking that it might be just easier for us to pretty much turn around and almost just like remove a giant oval because backing up and everything like that does take a little bit of time out and I always want to be efficient, so we'll probably do that, just kind of keep going in an oval, and I think we will have to remove that one tree, so we'll definitely do that you know, once we do a little bit more clearing. Now the dirt road over here is part of this property, so we will actually have to go over there once we do a little bit more over here and clear some of that. kind of back up here we do want to get all of these little spots that we are missing so I'll probably have to clean up just a little bit of this off camera the uh, plow on the back acts as a plow and it's not the largest uh, little attachment for it but I really do like it how we could uh, remove grass and everything like that with this attachment on the back so we'll kind of get this back it does have to be kind of a uh, in a certain position for it to remove all of it so that looks to be probably just about as much as we really need to do in this little area, 
we'll back up and we'll probably just remove this a little bit. We'll be doing the dirt road another time when I do uh, remove all of that dirt. In the next step in this, we'll be doing some excavation work. So stay tuned for that. We will be having a swimming pool also at this house. That's going to be awesome. Building a swimming pool, excavating for that. But we'll be excavating for that once the house is completely built. And before the lawn goes in. So we did remove probably the largest area. And I think that there will also be a detached garage. So a lot of different things going on with this uh, house property. But uh, like I was saying guys, we'll be doing one more tree clearing before we call it a day. So that looks pretty good. Uh, job well done for removing all the grass needed. And we want to do it in steps, not remove too, too much. But up next, we'll be removing this tree right over here. And I think we'll probably just bring the dump truck over and kind of just load right in. Awesome, so I'm actually thinking, since this is right over here, it might be easier for me to, let's see if I could pick some of these up and just kind of bring them right over and throw them inside a dump truck. So that's a pretty cool idea. We'll be doing that. I'm just going to back it up. Back it up just like this, and then we'll kind of stand inside of the dump truck. We'll lift these up right by hand and place them right on the inside. Very cool idea. I do like being very efficient, so this is a great way of being efficient. Looks like I will have to stand on the roof of this. Not too realistic, but it's the only way that we could really lift all of these and throw them in. Very busy day on the job site for us. We are trying to do a lot of different things today in the uh, site, trying to get it ready for excavation, since like I was saying, we will be calling up extra help, which will be pretty cool to do. Right, so you guys can see that we got that all unloaded now. It's a little bit easier to unload into this, I think, than to throw it right into the dump truck. We'll leave that right there, and we also get to use pretty cool equipment, and it is a very uh, cool idea that I came up with. So we'll come back over here. We'll cut them up into pieces. And if you guys do make cool video ideas for me, drop them down below in the comments. I appreciate all the positive support and feedback on the channel. We'll be doing a lot of very cool videos. And the dump truck we just loaded into is a 2018 F450 Crew Cab dump truck. Very new truck. We just got it recently within the last week, which is awesome for the company. I enjoy getting new trucks, new equipment. So if you do have any ideas for equipment that's uh, public or any ideas that I should be bringing into farms, let me know down below in the comments. I would often look into new equipment since I always like getting new toys and new, new equipment to kind of uh, learn and to use in videos. Take a look at that guys, we removed a lot of trees today and overall a lot of grass also so it looks like the dumper is full. We'll just kind of bring these over here but take a look at that guys, we removed all of the grass. Perfect. For the excavation, we might make a few passes wider on either side, and we remove this tree. So the last thing we'll be doing, hopping in the JCB stump grinding, and then we'll call it a day. It looks like I did leave a lot of the equipment running, which isn't a good thing, since we will be using more diesel and gas, which is okay since we do have a uh, gas tank and diesel tank in that service truck. But it looks like we just did that. Take a look at that. Today was very successful. Let me know what you guys thought about today's uh, job on the today's day on the construction site. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.